That doesn't look like a normal Raspberry Pi 3. Is there a new Raspberry Pi? Happy Pi Day! If you're like me or you watched my video from yesterday, you know, you kind of already saw what Pi deals were happening, what was going on, and then boom! Huge announcement today from the Raspberry Pi Foundation. We have a brand new Raspberry Pi 3 Model B+. Plus. They are updating the Raspberry Pi Model 3, this little single board $35 computer running at 1.2 gigahertz. We now have some upgrades. So here is a stock Raspberry Pi 3. They're gonna keep the price the same. Love it, that's awesome. But there's a caveat here. It might not be the upgrade we were hoping for or looking for. So let's go ahead and take a look at this Raspberry Pi 3. So as you can see, it's the same form factor. You're gonna have the same slots for mounting, things like that, same power with the micro USB, same HDMI, same 3.5 camera ports, display ports, all the same. USBs are still 2.0. I would have loved to see a 3.0. Um, but we got some upgrades. We have the GPIO. We have added GPIO power support. You can see these four extra pins right here. These are brand new. We do have a brand new processor. This is something I'm most excited about. Instead of 1.2 gigahertz, we are being upgraded to 1.4 gigahertz. The GPU within the processor, the graphics processor unit, is still going to be the same. On some of those emulators that are gra uh, processor intensive, which is a lot of them, we might see a slight increase. The other thing is if you watch my channel, I typically overclock my Raspberry Pi to 1.3 gigahertz from 1.2. So having a 1.4 and then going up to maybe 1.5, 1.6 gigahertz, we might actually see you know a, a decent performance gain. Again, I'm, I'm a little, I'm happy that we at least got something, but at the same time, I'm a little disappointed because to me now, from a product life cycle standpoint, Raspberry Pi is not gonna release a Raspberry Pi 4 because they wanna, they wanna squeeze out as much money as they can from this Raspberry Pi 3 B+. Plus. So if anything, it just kind of it, it, um, it elongates, it, it makes us have to wait even longer for the Raspberry Pi 4. But then again, maybe they never had plans for the Raspberry Pi 4. So it's better that we got something versus nothing. So that's two ways of thinking about it. Um, some cool other upgrades is now we have gigabyte ethernet. So I don't know if you guys ever transfer ROMs under ethernet or you know, you're downloading things through your Pi. It was never like super, super fast. So we should see a, a performance increase there, especially with the Wi-Fi as well. It now has 5G uh, connection as well. So before you were kind of forced to use a USB dongle to kind of improve your Wi-Fi experience. Now you're gonna be able to do that all on board. So that saves you like five or $10 right there. Um, and did I mention this is the same price? Yes, it will be the same price. But again, with a caveat, um, this thing um, is hard to find right now. I'll go ahead and post links to some Amazon that uh, links that do have it, but you have to buy it with a kit. Right now you're talking close to $100 with the full kit. I mean, you can always sell those things on the kit or use the things on the kit. They are useful, but that is the current price. I bet you in the next week or so that you will see a lot more companies having them and you will be able to get them for $35 out the door. Some new things is you have this chip right here with the Raspberry Pi logo on it. You don't have that on the other one. You have the raised GPIOs, especially with these four uh, additional ones right here. And uh, the Raspberry Pi logos move from here to here. Then you get the processor, which is much larger. And it looks like there's some sort of heat sink or cover. We're on the stock on the stock one. It's just, it looks like a black chip. So that'll be new. Um, USBs are the same. The RAM on the bottom is the same. I would love to see a little bit more RAM. We're not going to see, uh, we're not going to see more RAM. Uh, here is their little, uh, so they were just advertising these three main ports, which, so that's all the same micro SD, the same. So there's that new chip. So how are they advertising this? They're saying the new processor, like I guess told you about just 2.2 gigahertz quicker, the brand new ethernet and it's Bluetooth 4.2 now. Okay. And three times as fast ethernet port for your, for your uh, internet and power over ethernet support with separate POE hat. So you have to put a hat on there and you can get power over ethernet. So it's an add on item. Some people are going to nerd out on it and love it, especially if you have a particular application that you've been waiting for for this. Those of you in the emulation scene, it's not night and day. You want night and day, you want to either build one of those really, really cheap, buy an old cheap laptop, buy one of these cheap processors that are now coming out, buy the Dreamcade Replay, try, try bring some of these like way more powerful units into your, into your gaming experience. At the same time, in defense of Raspberry Pi, they didn't raise the price. It is new performance. It is innovation. So there's pros and cons to it. I'm not going to tell you whether I'm, I'm really in love or, or hate it. I'm, to be honest, I'm kind of in the middle. I'm glad we got something rather than nothing, but I'm a little disappointed that it wasn't 
quite what I was hoping for, but yeah, that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, there'll be links in the description. I'll update those links as this Raspberry Pi 3 becomes more available and there's other uh, websites selling it. So I hope you enjoyed that and we'll catch you on the next one. Oh, and uh, happy Pi Day.